Who's this? This is Crystal. Oh, Crystal. How you doing, Miss Crystal? Hello. This is my new hire as VP. Why y'all standing up? 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 Why y
Anything you want to say to me? No doubt. We're up 200, so that's a great thing. Y'all are welcome. I think we need to order a round of drinks to that and then go back in there. I'm doing That's where we going after this. Straight to the slots. But I just wish Teddy could have been out with us. How are you and Teddy? We're OK. We're working through some things. Wow. What was going on with that? I told him how I felt about him and C's beating up Alex. And I kind of told him, like, I thought it was whack. And you know me, like, sometimes my approach comes off, like, aggressive. So I just need to work out how I react to things, you know, like how I overreacted to him flirting with Crystal at Walter's calendar shoot. I feel kind of bad, to be honest with you. Kitty, I know that look. What are you not telling me? I mean, I... Come on, y'all. The other day, we gave people that around trying to teach me how to drive. No, yes. I am to you. Yes. Yes. Yeah, that's enough. We're done. Pull up next then. We saw Teddy and Kristen having, I guess it was coffee dinner. or dinner. Dinner. Or Definitely a dinner. That's that is definitely not Tati. That's crazy. Like a date? That's how it looked to us. Why wouldn't you tell me, like, right away? Because we trying to figure out. I mean, that's sensitive. Like, yeah. we're not and Crystal are on the low, and he definitely had no intention of letting me know since I had to hear it from Kitty and Bay. This is some bull and I'm not playing with this. But I mean, I wouldn't jump to the conclusion. Yo, this. I'm gonna go find him right mother Wait, 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 wait. Playing with me. Oh, God. Uh -uh. Oh, my God. What did we just do? I didn't even think it was that serious between Teddy and Crystal, but if I were in a serious relationship, I would want somebody to tell me. Tati, don't kill Teddy. So, what's with Tati giving you death stares at breakfast? I know. It's like so much negative energy, too. Yeah. What's up with that? She tried to accuse me out of all things Teddy. So, wait, 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 wait. Go back, go back, go back. Why would she accuse you of sleeping with Ted? I have no idea. I barely had conversations with Teddy. Like, the only time we really sat down and talked was when we went to go get coffee. Was he, like, giving you any type of vibe? No, as soon as we sat down, he was like, yo, this is not a date. Ted took me out for coffee after Walt's calendar party so he could apologize for Tati's actions. Hey, I'm sorry, what month is this? Um, <laughs> is this Hotober? Oh! Ted was not flirting with me. He was just making sure that I knew my job was not in jeopardy. It made me feel better about working at Black Ink, but I'm still not cool about Tati's behavior towards me. This is not my first experience either with females feeling like I'm trying to steal their man, but I've worked so hard to get where I am. Anyone accusing me of sleeping around just to further my career just undermines all the hard work and struggle I put in to get to where I am. And it's extremely hurtful that people try to throw dirt on my name just because they're jealous of me. She's counting me out. She's not respecting me for my work. It just makes me feel extremely uncomfortable in the shop. And this up, like, A lot of the times, I wish I wasn't seen, you know? Because I feel like people judge me based off of that. Oh, you got this just because of the way you look? No, it's because I had to fight my way to the top. I know what it is, trust me. She don't get it. You don't get it because she didn't have to do none of this. She's a manager, what did she do? You don't do nothing. Yeah, you your way to the top. I'm gonna make my way there because I earned that spot by myself. Like that just pisses me off. Nobody knows where I come from and what I've been through, but f it, I'm great at what I do. And I'm gonna keep it professional. Thank you. My half sister, she lives a few hours away upstate, but she agreed to meet me for the first time today. 
I'm a little nervous because I don't even know how she feels. Like, does she hold resentment towards me? Is this gonna be a happy reunion? Or is she gonna be angry? There's so many ways this could play out. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> You're as big as me. Oh my god. This is so crazy. I'm sitting across from my sister and I'm seeing her for the first time. It's like surreal. I just want to sit here and take this moment in. I feel like you look the most like me too, about my sister. Mi otra hermana ya blanquita, la otra es mitad morena. And everyone tells me that I look exactly like him. Like our dad. Yeah. And you look like him too. No tanto. Tu más linda. I don't know how to describe it. Even though we've never met, I still feel like we've known each other our whole lives. Like, it's kind of cool. So how long have you known that we share the same father? My mom told me about him when I was 13. 13? Mm-hmm. Have you ever met him? No. No? Never. Did you look for him? I looked for him, but I never found him. Lo quiero conocer, pero no sé. Uh, it's difficult. It's difficult. Why? I feel like me and him, we have a lot of problems that we haven't worked out. I mean, I grew up with him, and then he went to jail when I was like five. And then I didn't talk to him until about 16. And then he moved to LA. So he was never there. Todavía. Todavía. Yeah. Mi cumpleaños pasó en noviembre. Ni me ni me llamó. For Christmas, no me llamó. And I'm mad at him that he never told me about you. Oh, don't cry. Don't cry. cry. I wish I knew about you. I just know there's probably a lot of you went through. I was there for you. I'm extremely upset with my father. He took away 20 years from us. Like, I understand you didn't want to be in our lives, but why did you have to decide for us not to be in each other's lives either? Just because our father robbed us of our past doesn't mean he's gonna rob us of our future. We're gonna have a relationship, whether he's in the picture or not. Just give me a hug. <laughs> I'm shaking right now. I haven't seen my dad in over five years, and now here I am about to confront him about how I actually feel about him. I feel like me and my dad, we always had this relationship where I hide how I truly feel just because I'm not trying to ruin what we have. And tonight, it's different. I actually have to tell him how I really feel. I'm terrified. Not big. Mm. Yep, I grew up. I see you grew your hair out. Yeah, I'm not to grow. Do I lose it all? <laughs> mm. Tonight might make him upset, but why should I sacrifice my peace for his? I feel like we have to have a talk about how I feel. Okay. Um. I feel like what? I wish our relationship was better. Yeah. I wish I could have the bond like I have my mom with you. Mother used to keep you away from me, Crystal, because I was bad. I wasn't good. I remember once we went to go see you at the jail. That's the only memory I really remember. And I feel like I have to carry that forever. It's affecting our relationship now because I'm holding back. Because I have a grudge. And every birthday I cry because you don't call me. I don't do you don't call me, but you don't call me. Bruce.
personal. I had a lot of things I had to pay in life, all right? It's not that I didn't want to be there. I went through a lot. Life changes everyone. Now I'm older, now I'm good. Got a better heart, you know? But the good thing is we're meeting now, you know, we're spending some time together. I want to believe what my dad's saying, but in the same instance, it's like, where have you been the last five years? I came into this wanting to confront my dad about never telling me about the sister I never knew I had. But is that even the right thing to do? Because you're just going to get disappointed the same way I was. Hey, Team building. Come on, everybody. This is a <laughs> sorority. But we got a sisterhood, and you don't just join. <laughs> Donna really thinks that she can dominate us newbies into submission. Like I'm tired of dealing with her fifth grade bull. Krista, why is your hair rough? You look like you're about to fight somebody. Cause it's hot in here. You got us in here with no AC, with the doors locked. She's gonna bug out in a second. I don't want it to be like, oh, every bitch that comes in, you gotta fight. But if you know me, you know. I'm not gonna let it go. Uh, so who wanna fight? Y'all two fight. We're gonna stay. Okay, fight. Wanna fight? Nah, bro. Who wanna fight? One thing I learned in the Bronx is that you gotta stand up to the bully or they're gonna keep on with their bull. Who wanna fight? Like, don't press me. Who wanna fight? She's going crazy. Like I said, who wanna fight? Yo, Crystal needs to chill the out. First of all, we're all locked in here together, and this is not a game you wanna play right now. Crystal, come here. Crazy. I thought you tripping. This bitch is Looney Tunes. Crystal goes from zero to crazy like this. And honestly, she knows what's good for her. She's going to back the up. All right, so hit me. What is happening? Why y'all standing up? Y'all got to If you want it to be about you, it can be about you. Because you got to eat the coming in. with the wrong girl. She needs to know that you don't come for me unless you can handle me. Whether you like it or not, there is a pecking order here. And baby, you messing with the wrong side. What she do all that for? That was unnecessary. That was, she was taking up her but life. That's rule number, number one. That's her. why it's some other <laughs> sisterhood. Oh, Period. Oh, you she, brand new. She helped you. Uh, uh, she 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 I'm putting my hands on nobody's head. She called out. She called out. I'm not in the mood for this. London's not even sticking up for herself. And now she got Crystal looking crazy, like a wild animal out of her cage, attacking people for no reason. This don't make sense. Escort me in. You're not going to fight. Stay with me. Come on. <laughs> I'm not joking. Come on. Excuse me, get on my face. Get on my face. I have to get on my face. It's going to be getting choked. Every time, girl. Now it's going to be every time. Now it's going to be every time. Oh, you hurt me? Hold up there. One. You didn't eat no breakfast? Nah, I'm gonna have it a little bit. See the view? Yeah, it's beautiful. Look what I gave you. Ah, oh. <laughs> no. Yeah, whatever. Last night was fun. It was, right? Mm -hmm. So hard to get some alone time. I enjoy spending any little bit of time with you. It's been six months now, like. You been counting? <laughs> of course I've been <laughs> counting. Like, those have been the best times of my life. I had a thing for Crystal when I was working at the 113 shop. You marry me, I'm marrying you. <laughs> but you know, once quarantine happened and we were all home, we started texting each other, phone calls, and then once quarantine was done, she said, yo, you want to link up? and. I took a trip to the Bronx. It's really been nice between me and Rock. Like, we're literally together 24-7. It's nice to have that comfortability with somebody, because you don't always get that. It's nice. I love him. I love him. It's a little weird, because it's like, we work together. And I feel like I don't want people to feel like that our relationship is getting in the way of our jobs. So. Yeah, if I don't want you to just waiting for this relationship. Like, I'm ready. Like, I've been in a crazy relationship for 10 years, and I didn't think that I was gonna try to jump into a relationship, but once I met you, it was like, 
different. One of the best things about working at the 125th shop is nobody's really around. During the pandemic, no one else was there. We got to know each other, you know? But now that me and Rock are working at the Brooklyn shop, I feel like things are gonna become messy just because relationships at Black Ink tend to not work out so well. I feel like we're gonna surprise a lot of people, but what do you want? You, you want us to like tell everyone or you want it to still keep it a secret? I'm ready to shout out to the world. If that window could open right now, I'm ready to scream out to the whole New York. I go out with Chris. I feel like really is no one's business but our own. It's me and you in the relationship, not me, you, and everybody else. We're gonna have the right moment where we can come out and tell everyone. I feel like that moment is not right now. That doesn't mean I'm not with you and you're not with me, you know? We're exclusive, just not publicly in the shop. <laughs> You feel me? We can be popping down the street. We can be popping in the supermarket. Just not in the shop. So we'll keep it on the hush. You know? Just me and you. <laughs> See what we got going on here. You could definitely take a few pointers, young Crystal. No, I can't. Definitely. Mm -hmm. I can't. Definitely. Not yet. 100%. Let me tell your client my work. Huh? She says she could steal your client right now. She could steal my client's client. Wow, that's tough. Why does me to bully a little bit? You're supposed to treat women with respect, bro. Wait, what are you doing? A rose? Let you know me grab my phone and show my roses. It's the I gotta prove myself to you for me. <laughs> I've been tattooing 10 years, and I learned from like three, four people. I know enough, baby. You don't gotta teach me nothing. Ain't nobody gotta prove Bro. You my Ain't nobody coming at you. You want to come you at everybody. You don't like it. Get your work together. It's getting real hot in here. Spider, I understand you talk a lot and all that. You can say all them things to me. I don't really let that bother me. But her, she's a Scorpio. Who did that? What's wrong with that? Any artist know that's not good work. I'm way better than yours on any day. Ooh, don't play with me, bro. Prove it. Stop playing with me. She's emotional. Yeah, I am emotional about my craft because I put in years. How many years you got? I got 10 Let's years of It's all over the place, emotions is high, but we gotta do not in front of the clients because at the end of the day, you still gotta be professional. You think you got the green light to say? Stop playing with me. That's it. I'm a female. This is a what male dominated that? industry. Can I take my serious, that, that disrespectful? Come on, man. I got two daughters, man. You're tripping completely. You. Great. <laughs> right? Welcome to Black Ink Brooklyn. I didn't think it, she took some like that, that crazy. You talking about I'm a female? That mean? 10 years ago when we started, there was no women. Right. You know, she been through it, so that's why. You all right? Yeah, I'm all right. I mean. Even after yesterday? I'm feeling a little better. Oh, yeah? Everyone else is crazy. I just want to spend some time with you. Ever since we went to the strip club, and he had that talk with Ink Daddy, and I feel like now is finally time that I let him out the doghouse. Because I feel like our relationship's bigger than all that nonsense. Well, I was thinking about getting a tattoo today. So you want to get a tattoo? Mm-hmm. What you getting? Your name. You going to get my name? To be honest, I think Crystal's the one, so why not get our letters on each other? Like, just to prove to each other that we in it to win it. You know what would be cool? If I tattoo you, why you tattoo me? So we're sticking each other? We're hurting each other at the same time, baby. Mm, I like the sound of that. Looks like we're making some magic. Damn, I miss being this close to you. <laughs> Crystal, you get my own name on you! Crystal! <laughs> Be gentle. Are you sure you can handle me? <laughs> I feel like me and Rock are better together than we are alone. I fell in love with him because he's so calm and level-headed, and he makes me feel so comfortable. So really, should I hold that against him, that he's just being the person he is? Deep down, I know Rock is there for me, just in his own way. And I wouldn't want either of us to have to go through life not being who we are. I can't even feel it. To be honest, almost losing Crystal was probably one of the worst moments of my life. You know, getting out of a 10-year relationship, I never thought I was gonna find somebody that would treat me as an equal until I met Crystal. And I know me and Crystal disagree on a lot of shit, but I'm pretty sure whatever it is, we'll be able to get through it together.
celebrating us. Oh, Wait, what happened? We're engaged. Y'all are engaged? Yeah, we're engaged. I really don't like the look that Caesar got on right now. So I'm just gonna focus on the good news. Will you marry me, baby? Yeah? Baby, don't do no fake <laughs> I know, I know. I said it was too fast. But I feel like we already got the shop together and we live together and through our engagement. I feel like we have time to kind of work everything through. <laughs> and you know, we love each other, bottom line. Where's the ring? There's no ring. Um, the ring that I got her, I had to upgrade it a little bit, so it's at the, the store. <laughs> You know my boo spontaneous, and he wasn't even supposed to propose. So he actually did it with the promise ring. So he took that promise ring back to, you know, fix it. Add a couple carrots, cause I gotta see this from far away for it to be a good ring. So it's only supposed to be one time, so you gotta do it right. You guys are getting married. Congratulations, you two. Congratulations. Congratulations. Yeah. I kind of feel bad for Rock and Crystal right now. I think this is a celebration. And this is no celebration, baby. This looks like a week. Well, even though, you know what I mean, y'all just getting here, this right here is the metaphor for blacking. The problem here is everybody is eating off this table that's called black ink. But nobody's really putting back into black ink. Going further, I'm no longer aligned with certain Now, I talked to y'all at the graduation. I said something to y'all. I heard y'all didn't take it very kindly. Listen, when Rock and Rizzi talked to Caesar, we offered to make it a black in New Jersey. But for whatever reason, Caesar, let us do our thing. Caesar? Yes, ma'am. We've known that we've benefited from the brand. I do well, and I don't mind sharing. And we're still willing to partner with Caesar, but I feel like God's big is our baby, and we're not willing to drop the name. What if we did Black Ink Presents God's Ink? Oh, that worked. Nah, I don't have no Black Ink like that. This is a conflict of interest, you feel me? I'm not firing y'all or trying to make y'all quit, but y'all have to make a decision. I don't know what he wants. Rock over here not saying shit. It's like, what am I gonna do? I already extended myself. If you don't want no part, then it is what it is. But what about Bay? Why can't she have her own shop? We can just keep it 100. Bay has her own little tuck away, and me and Bay already had an agreement. If she had a big storefront, Bay wouldn't be around here. But that's everybody's dream to have. Every tattoo artist's dream to have their own studio. And I applaud you on that. But my dream is to build a franchise with the most that I came up with or is within my company. This is what I'm saying. Is either you want with me, or you gonna be my competition. If you ain't black ink, what is you? But we gotta figure this shit out. I ain't trying to up, you know what I mean? Look like I fucked up your celebration. I ain't trying to do that. I still applaud y'all. Y'all gonna have a happy little family. But y'all better figure out your future. Y'all have a good night. And please don't leave a mess. Watching Crystal Caesar right now deal with business, I can kind of tell that Crystal is not the best negotiator on the planet. Of course, Caesar wasn't gonna take the first offer. This is a negotiation. Who's supposed to clean this shit up? I don't know, one of y'all. I brought the food here. So Rock and Crystal have to go back to the drawing board, think about another counter offer, and just come back to Caesar about the whole black and God of being kind of franchising. That killed my whole happiness. But y'all are engaged, so focus on, you know. The moment's been ruined. No, I think y'all yeah. maybe just need to have a one-on-one -on -one and everybody's trying to grow right now. You know what I'm saying? And sometimes it's okay if people grow in different directions. All right, so I, I quit. I quit. Please let everybody know. Rock, you do what the f you want with your life. I honestly feel like I don't have it in me to let Caesar treat me this way. So I'ma just do what I gotta do and just step away. And hopefully my absence from the shop shows Caesar how important I am to black game.
Llegamos. What's up, baby? The spot's nice. <laughs> oh, sh Been a minute. <laughs> I know. It's been a couple years. The last time I saw my dad, we were in LA. And I feel like we had some problems just because we had so much that we didn't talk about. I wish I could have the fun like I have my mom with you. <laughs> Not that I didn't want to be there. I had a lot of things I had to pay in life. Since that conversation, we've definitely done a lot better. Like, he checks on me a lot. He makes sure he calls me on my birthday. And he, he's trying to be present. Oh, no, I got makeup on you. Oh, damn, baby. That's all right. Who's nice this? to meet you. Oh, it's right. Right? It's rock, yeah. Rock. You know. Rock? Yeah. The boyfriend oh, I, I heard about you a lot. Yeah. Hold up. Boyfriend? The boyfriend oh, I, I, I called about and talked to. Him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Last I remember, we just got engaged. Y'all are engaged? Yeah, we're yeah. ah! Honestly, I'm kind of too nervous on me and Crystal's pops right now to be thinking about titles. So hopefully, I can turn on the old rock charm and prove to him that I'm the perfect guy for Crystal. He's my business partner, too. You know, I open okay. that shop, so. Okay. Yeah, business we're 50, first. 50 partner. Always. Yeah. This is my baby. Respect. For the first time you ever brought somebody. <laughs> yeah, I heard him the first. <laughs> I really don't like being nobody, man, you know? And I told her the day she is gonna introduce me, make sure it's something that she really takes it to the heart, you know? So far, so good. Look, I'll be honest with you, I want you safe always, so you gotta make sure who you surround yourself with. You gotta right. always be careful, you know? Of course. Yeah. But it's, it's more so like the emotional turmoil. Like I'm, it's it's like always up and down. One day is good, I'm winning the competition. Now the next day I'm having a f breakdown. I still feel like I need to think about signing this contract. I, I don't really know what I'm gonna do. Talk to your lawyers and have your lawyers postpone it. Season knows about yesterday, so I'm pretty sure he's not gonna rush you signing that right now. I know that Crystal's worried about the details in the contract, but even her dad thinks this is the right move. After the heat dies down from last night, hopefully we'll be able to make everything official when we get back to Brooklyn. But let's get my mind off this drama. Yeah, yeah. You want a tattoo? I you see want, you got yeah, some. Yeah, I, I told you I wanted some work. No, we got But I want to work, look, I want to work on my head and then we'll go through the back. You know what you want? Uh, I'll, let my, I'll let you pick it out, Chris. I'm just covered with a bunch of stuff. You pick something out. Okay, I'm going to design something. We're going to go crazy. You're going to have the best tattoo I've ever done in my life. <laughs> well, since you're going to attack your pops, I'm going to let you get some, you know, quality time alone. I'm going to talk to C's right now, so he knows this ain't the right time to sign. Okay. I got this. It was nice meeting you again. Pleasure. All right. Love you, baby. I'm still in one piece, so I guess it wasn't so bad after all. He looks like a good kid. Hey, y'all. It's your boy, Caesar, Black Ink CEO. And if you don't know me, the reason why is you ain't subscribed to VH1 YouTube channel. At the end of the day, you already know. That's the number one channel on YouTube. And if you don't got it, I guess you just watch the number two.